Hello everybody, welcome to Infinite Pixels. My name is Antonio Jackson, and this is actually my first video where I'm using my voice. So normally I just do pixel art time lapses, but today I'm going to be showing you two pixel art softwares that I use. The first one is pixelart.com. It's a pixel art editor for your browser and it's free. It's completely free. So I'm just gonna continue, I mean, new drawing, I'm gonna create a new drawing. I can choose, you know, my height and width, and they have some presets here. You can only do a max of 700 pixels, though, in width and height. They also have save it. You can save it as a file. You have settings, download it as a PNG or GIF, key bindings, and they have some other stuff, like fonts for um, when you make a, when you type in, like, pixel art. They also have some bases you can use, and you can also do a collab with somebody, so... I might do that in the future with one of one of my friends who's currently working on doing pixel art. But for this video, we're just gonna use 100 by 100. So if you're new to pixel art, you can see that they actually have, you know, your regular pencil tool. Um, they have an eraser, a line drawing tool where you can make a line. They have a circle, square, bucket tool to fill something in. A color picker which chooses whatever color it's on. You can lighten or darken something. You can use a text tool. You can move something, select it. You can use a stamp tool which actually people have made stamps and like posted them. So like I can take an explosion stamp and move it. I can uh, make it smaller or bigger however I want. And they you can you know cut it, paste it, copy it. And you know all sorts of things. So. You can also make your own private stamps that you can use anytime. And they also have cropping so you can resize your canvas. And that's um pretty much it. They do have a gradient tool which they've just added recently. It's kind of still in the works, you know, it's probably buggy. So I'm I'm I wouldn't use it yet, but I would certainly um have high hopes for it. So they also have your primary color and your secondary color. You can uh, use HSB or RGB. I personally like HSB better. You can, you know, choose your color number if you if you know some. Um, but yeah, you can choose whatever color you'd like. So yeah, and then you have your secondary color, which you just press, which you can press X to swap, or you can use your um left mouse button to um use that. So I can use green. Or I can use my secondary one with my other mouse button. They also have mirroring so you can actually mirror what what you draw. Like that for example. So yes, it's um it's very feature packed, I guess you could say. They have some default colors, your layers over here, a preview. They also have some um preview sizes, rainbow uh colors, so there's some different options. They also have some other tools for like the pencil or the brush you could change the, how the brush looks and everything but yeah you can also change the pixel size using this so like I can choose 8 for example and it will draw using 8 pixels at a time so yes this is pixelart.com it's a website it's browser based it's free um you can also click it this is what the website looks like but you can also start a drawing so yeah, they have some beautiful pixel art over here that people make. Um, yeah, so this is my feed for people I follow. You can make comics. Have you can look at your gallery. They they even have a shop where you can buy like basically your own pixel art, but on like a shirt or a cup or even a phone case. But yeah, I can look at my gallery, my groups, my photo settings, night mode. I can log out, you know. So they also have cool daily challenges like today it's sky and they also have um contest so yeah it's um a very good website if you're just getting into pixel art it's free i highly recommend it i use this in my videos that i use to make a time lapse so yes i highly recommend this my second program that i use is one that you actually have to download it's called pixelorama I just I have it in a photo so there it is right there that's what it looks like it's a va it's also free it's open source and this program was actually made in a game engine so I actually have the game engine it's called Godot but for this you can um choose your height and width 
default colors. Um, yeah, I mean, your default templates, that's what I meant. Um, yeah, so, but this one, with this one, it's actually unlimited, so I can do 1,000 pixels if I wanted to. I don't recommend that because your computer can crash or freak out when it's so many pixels. See how it just keeps zooming in because it's so many pixels. See, it doesn't even capture all of the pixels because you can't even see them all that far away. See, so... Yeah, I, I don't I don't know why would you need that high of a resolution, but this one basically does the same thing. They keep updating it. They um it's very it's kind of newish, so some features will be added in the future. I can um move this, add another one, like just basically the same thing. Um they have a left tool, right tool. I can also switch colors with X. So it's kind of the same thing. So if you do use Pixel Art, you can always use this one. Like if it's if you don't have a very good internet connection and you need something offline, so I can um I can you know make a new one. I can open open last project, save save as if you want to save it in a certain place. I can import export export as and quit. You also have edit you know your preferences view image help. So they also have like tile mode, grid mode. So yeah, they also have an animation timeline down here where I can add some frames. So yeah, I can you can do some animation. You can um also change some stuff. You can lock it just like in Pixel Art. So this is a very good Pixel Art, you know, program. It's also free. I don't really use it in my videos because I just like the layout of pixelart.com better. But either one works just as well. This one is more clean and just has a different layout. You know, of course you can erase but the pixels are so dense that you can't even tell. Hold on, the eraser. Yeah, it might even be freaking out right now. See? Yeah, I can hear my fans. So, yeah, I don't do a thousand by a thousand. You can also change how fast it plays your animation. You can use a cycle loop. You can enable onion skin or disable. It's very it's a very nice program overall. It has some features that pixelart.com doesn't. But either one is just as good, so I like both of them. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe, like, comment, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I release a video. But if I release a video, it will always be at 3 o'clock p.m. So hope you enjoyed. Hope you get better at Pixel Art, and I shall see you in my next video.